Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to another episode of Nadia Shaw Productions. I am your host, Nadia Shaw. Thank you so much for being here for this very special and wonderful episode with my friend, Alison Price. She is grace personified, and I really wanted to talk to her because she is an expert in children's astrology. So fascinating. I'm so excited to talk to you. Welcome, Alison. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. It's a different thing reading a chart for an adult than it is for a child because I, I am forever mindful that I don't want to uh, say something that becomes more of a self-fulfilling prophecy because it's as if that person hasn't fully formed yet. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So how do you deal with that? You deal with the child's chart in relation to the parent because basically the, the parent needs to be able to understand what's happening with their child and find some way to find a common ground. Relationship of parent and child, I can't imagine anything more important. Oh, it's yes. so formative, it sets up your expectations. It, the focus is perhaps on the child, but you're dealing with the parent to get their buy-in on what's, where we're going. Yes, and I, I suppose also that what's happening in the parent's chart is going to speak volumes about how they're parenting. Exactly. The child's chart is actually was a transit to the, to the mother's chart the day they were born. Mm, that's a wonderful way to put it. That's yes. so true. I don't think that children's astrology is something that's um, common knowledge. I don't think um, most people would even consider perhaps having their child's chart looked at. And only those parents who are enlightened and already consult with astrologers, I would imagine, may be open to this idea. So what's most rewarding about working with children's charts? giving hope to the parents, I think. As a, as a parent myself, um, there are tougher days and there are good days and we want to try and um, help the parents. I like to help people to show them perhaps some solutions or where they could go for help or rather than them feeling they just don't understand their child. Do you ever use the chart to predict something about a child's future? Like, this child will grow to be a great king or something. <laughs> no, I, I, tr I try not to be dictatorish. Yes. <laughs> Dictatorial. Yes. So amazing to me how in life we end up with the experiences exactly as we are meant to. And the fact that you ended up teaching or at least being in the presence of these young people, yes. how it has now contributed to your work, how it awakened yes. something within you to carve yes. this niche for yourself. Yes, it was incredibly interesting working with the five-year-olds in JK, six-year-olds in SK, and also seeing the whole year of, for instance, all the Jupiter Aquarians coming through in that year, and then seeing the, the turnaround the next year when it was the Jupiter in Pisces group mm. coming through. Fascinating. Yeah. What about when you see in a child's chart that, whoa, this child is about to start a really hard time, like yes. they're about to go through a series of Pluto conjunctions or something classically really tough? Yes. Um, it's usually this, the progressed stations, retrogrades of either the inner or even outer planets. It can cause a whole year of nothing's moving forward and... Um, if you see that coming up in two or three years for the child, you can at least prepare the parents to get on board with maybe consider getting in a tutor, consider taking up extra maths, realize the child needs practice, even writing, coloring in. And we're talking about the early years here with the fine motor coordination. Um, and I, that's what I would say. I would want to uh, perhaps alert the parent to the fact that they will have to expend more effort with that particular child in that year. Alison, you radiate such a beauty of oh. spirit. <laughs> well, I, thank you. I'm so glad you were here. Thank well, you so thank much. thank you for inviting me, truly. And thank you so much for being here with me to celebrate Alison Price and children's astrology. Thank you for watching. Until we connect again, take care.